Pleased. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Ramadan to everyone. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Alisa, uh, for inviting me and also all the brothers here as well. Uh, this is a very passionate and very important issue to my heart. Uh, can I first of all thank all the officers uh, from the council and from Bremen Services, Registrar Services, and everyone else who's here, Sue Naden and Chris Torres are very regulars for my contact, <coughs> and these two good ladies here as well. I think I've dealt with Gillian over many years, so thank you as well. Uh, first of all, um, I've been dealing with this issue since I got elected, because one of my main aim was that once you're born, the next step is death. <laughs> and I think you're getting closer to the grave day by day. So from day one, I was ready for this. One of the main issues that in Sheffield, what I saw was at the beginning, when I got elected in 2000, May 2000, was that the timing was at 3 o'clock. You had to be at the cemetery at 3 o'clock, and then you can uh, do the burial. That was the last time. And what people were saying to me in summertime was, well, it's a hot summer's day. Why come in very late in the, in the evening and afternoon? So we started our discussions and persuasion Politically, and I have to say to uh, Councillor Shafak and other colleagues, there was no political line on this. We all agreed together that there will be no politics in this, and we will fight for the community. And hopefully, in 2008, we brought a change in Sheffield that from April till end of September, you, you can have the burial take place until 8 o'clock in summer times. And that was agreed, and that came into force in 2008. And we did the leaflet, and I did the leaflet in my own ward, and I encouraged all of the councillors to do the same as well. Hence then, we published a book, a booklet, Muslim Burial Information, which is available for all of you as well. And I always get uh, Chris Doris over the weekend and other issues, because one problem in the community is no one reads the booklet. <laughs> no one reads the booklet. It's very important information in there, and also for the weekend, and what happens if you bury here? And what happens if you take the body abroad? So there are two important information that you need to be aware of. And I've sent this booklet to all the mosques, the details I have, and that's available for everybody as well. You can have that information afterwards as well. It's very important that we engage every mosque, two people. I've always said two people from each mosque must be involved so everyone knows what's happening. And it's also very important that you engage the youngsters as well within your mosque because they are the future and we need to engage them as well. One of the other issues uh, which uh, I do get very regularly <coughs> is about post-mortem. And uh, myself and Chris have had many meetings on this because my uncle, uh, may Allah bless him, passed away in Manchester and they didn't want to do an open post-mortem but in Manchester, North Manchester Hospital, uh, you can go and have uh, autopsy, by the way, of scanning, in a sense, uh, CTI scanning. And because of that, I was very inter interested in this issue. I personally went to the hospital and spoke to the relevant people and came back and I guess who I spoke to, the stories. Hence then, we've had our discussions on this and we agreed with the hospitals that we can have these services, but at a cost. In, in North Manchester, they charge about <coughs> approximately around about a thousand pounds then, but uh, then we pursued this in Sheffield, and it's progressing further now. I think if Chris is going to speak, I think he will be able to inform you up to date, because very soon in Sheffield, it will be happening as well. I just would like to thank the, the services provided by Chris and Sue Naden and the Registrar Office, really, and the offices, because I think, as somebody said before me, this is a gold-plated gold service for people of Sheffield. I always get to hear about Birmingham, and I, I've got other people from Luton, other people have contacted me. I said, we're here to help and advise you, because I think if we don't talk, we won't know what the problems are. I would like to pro progress this further for the community, because for me, also, we need to be planning now that the grave spaces are, are getting less and less. The community is growing. Myself, Mohamed Ali Saab, and Councillor Muzzer Iqbal uh, were at the, the Donald Cemetery, and we started <coughs> a year ago, so already the buildings are taking place there. We need to be mindful of City Road and also of Shy Green, the space is running out. I'm already working within the council for more places, another cemeteries for the Muslim community, so we can have our own access and we 
because we need to plan ahead for years ahead. Muhammad Ali is kicking me to move on. I'd like to hear two stories. Thank you, everybody, for the opportunity. I will be available afterwards for any information you want. Thank you.